Hello and welcome. Let me share something extremely useful. A dead simple way to run an automated trading bot 24 7 on AWS EC2. This video unfortunately is not sponsored by Amazon. I wish it was, so Bezos, please reach out and give me some of that cloud cash. So this video is for anyone who wants to automate their trading, whether it's crypto, stocks or any other market. So you can save time and stay ahead without being glued to a screen. I'm using 100 US dollars up to 200 US dollars in free AWS credits to set this up for free, which is awesome for keeping costs down. I'll show you how to fire up an EC2 T3 micro instance and deploy a Python script that logs Binance prices. A straightforward example to get you started on your own trading bot logic. You can use this for automated trading, quant finance, market monitoring, or even sending automated messages to your mom. It's that versatile. All right, let's get started. The idea is to set up a server running 24 seven, executing a simple Python script. Therefore, we launch a T3 micro instance, which is a free tier liable server to run the trading bot 24 seven. So let's do that. Search for EC2 here, then pick dashboard, then go on launch instance, then give it some name, for instance, bot test here in this case, then pick Ubuntu. Why Ubuntu? It's super reliable for Python. It's free tier liable. So perfect pick here. Then pick the most simple one here. We just want to execute a simple Python script so we don't need anything but just the simplest form of server. We got free tier liability here, so perfect. Architecture is fine. Then the instance type as set is T3 micro, perfectly fine. One GB memory, perfectly fine. You see also the cost here, so you have $100 uh, free you know, credits. So this will not eat anything here, but if it's eating up, this is what you will pay for that. So one cent per hour, roughly. Now I'm just setting that to the non-recommended settings. So security is up to you. I'm just giving you the low friction, easiest way here. That's everything you need to fill out. So let's launch, launch that instance here. Then it's being set up here in a couple of seconds. Then you're getting a feedback, successfully initiated launch of instance. Then you click on it and you end up in this screen here. Then you want to connect to that instance, clicking connect. Then we connect using a public IP here simply. So the simplest as said, low friction way here. Then I'm clicking on connect and I am in my instance. And here in this one, it's loading but you will see some a command shell cell here so you see we are in our shell and we can execute code from here on now this is naked there's nothing installed here so we want to install some stuff here so i'm just running a general update on sudo and then i'm going to install python and also the virtual environment library for Python because you need a virtual environment in this Ubuntu instance or server because otherwise you cannot install external libraries. So let's install some stuff here. I'm going to copy paste that from my other screen here. So I'm going through what we are going to install. So I'm installing Python 3 here, pip to install stuff, then to create and run virtual environments and screen. This is just the background running program, which we will get to in some minutes. So execute that and get Python installed. And after that, we are going to launch a virtual environment where we are running our bot or our price pull just to showcase how stuff will work in this or on this server in this Ubuntu system. So blah, 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 everything set up here. So we can, for instance, make a directory. So we have everything in one place. We just use make directory here. Then the tilde here. 
and then let's just call it Binance Bot or whatever you want to call it. Just give it some meaningful name, then change it to there. So I'm just accessing the directory here, then get an overview of what is inside this directory and there's nothing in until now. Now I want to create a virtual environment here. So I'm just using Python 3M VNF. VNF is creating a virtual environment where we can isolate all our stuff. And then we want to launch this environment or activate this environment by using source VNF bin activate. And now you will see once I click that, that we are in the virtual environment now and can do stuff in this virtual environment. And the first thing we are going to do is installing libraries. And as I want to uh, print the current price of let's say Bitcoin, ETH or whatsoever, I want to install some library, which is making that stuff easy for me. So I'm just going to install CCXT. This is a Crypto utility library, super convenient to pull prices, execute orders, do everything related to cryptocurrencies. Next, I'm going to build up so everything is installed here, so all good. And next, I want to set up a Python script here. So I need some text editor. You can use whatever you want. I'm just using the nano text editor here. Give the script some name. I'm just calling that bot test.py and this is just opening a script here and let me copy paste here from other screen because I don't want to uh, write that all myself so going over it quickly so what does this script do in a nutshell this is just connecting to the ccxt library and then is fetching the last available price for ETH you can also change that to Bitcoin if you are interested in that or any other coin traded on Binance. So this connected to Binance, in this case, the testnet, and then is simply printing out the price every five seconds. And then I'm logging it to get an output here. So I'm calling that heartbeat just to get a live signal from my script so that it's running. And this is just generating the log logging logic here. So for instance, if the uh, log file becomes too big so if it's exceeding one megabyte it's just generating a backup script all optional stuff the most important one is that you create a log file which is then saving the eth price so this is nothing more than that this is just logging the eth price every five seconds and then if you think about deploying a trading bot this would be your trading bot logic logging everything right logging errors logging executed trades and so on so this is your logic which you have to implement here now i'm getting out of the script pressing x here then save the script and press enter and we have our script set up here so again you can pull all the files in the directory and you will see that we have bot test pi now and you could execute this script now using python 3 and then whatever we called it bot test pi and then you will see that everything is working as expected here so we're getting a, a living signal from the script and the current price for eth uh, in relation to usdt so we even get a timestamp here so this is set up in the logging logic above and you see we are getting five seconds granular price data for ETH. This is nice, but you don't want to have it like this, right? You want to have a background process where the script is running because you don't want to have this online all the time. And you, you want to, you know, you, you just want to get out of here and the script should still execute stuff. For instance, if you're doing trading logic, if you're doing market analysis or whatsoever, you don't want to have it running when you go into this. You want to let it run in the background. And one case to achieve that, so let's uh, get, get rid of this, pressing uh, C here. 
So we are getting keyboard interrupt here and we are out of the script. So this is not running anymore. Let's set up a background process using screen. So you can use screen, then S, and then give the background process a certain name. So let's, let's just call that, I don't know, bot run process. And then you see a new file or a new process is popping up here. You just execute the bot test pi script here again. And then you want to exit or detach this process here. So you see the same output output here and you want to get out of this. So just press CTL plus A and then D. Don't be as stupid as I, A, D and get out of the script here. Then you get a feedback detached and you could in theory just get out of the instance and this process would run in the background. So let's actually just get out of here and then connect to the instance again. And then let's see if the script was running in the background even though I wasn't in this instance. So how could we check that? We have a logging script here, right? Which is being filled by the script running in the background. So we need to change the directory to Binance bot again, then get an overview of what we got here. So you see we have a bot log script here. So let's take a look at that. You will see you have a recent signal here. So just remember this timestamp here 14, 14, 28. Let's get out of the script and open that again. 14, 14, 28, I said. And now you have 14, 14, 44. So it is being populated in the background, which is, which is pretty cool, pretty neat. And just finally, let me give you some even cooler thing, which you can check out here. You can even check this out live using tail. So you can check the live updated log by just using tail f and then bot log and then you will see how this is being updated every five seconds pretty neat right so yeah that's it for the video i hope you found this useful for your use cases let me know what you're using it for and thanks a lot for watching i'm looking forward to seeing you in the upcoming videos cheers bye bye